how to verify if the Microsoft Windows ISO you have is genuine or not. Sometimes you download a Microsoft Windows ISO and you are not sure if it's actually genuine and released by Microsoft or it has been modified or somebody changed something in it or added something to it. Before we know how to do that, we need to understand first what is a genuine Microsoft Windows ISO. The answer to this question is very basic and simple. It is an ISO released by Microsoft. It also means not modified in any sort of way. So there hasn't been any modifications to it. There is no updates added language or anything it came straight away from microsoft to you that's a genuine microsoft Windows iso now the second question is how to verify if the microsoft windows iso is genuine you might feel that this is a hard question but even this question has a very basic and simple answer so let's see how so right here i got two iso files one of them is actually genuine and released by microsoft and the other one is modified how do i know which one is genuine and which one is modified basically i will just right click and i have the program 7zip installed on my pc i don't need to tell you how to install this program because it's very basic you just search for it in google and you will find it right away so by pressing right click and go 7zip and going to crc sha1 this option will give us the hash number of this ISO. By choosing this, it will load up and will give me a number. This is the hash number SHA1 of the ISO file. This number is like the fingerprint of the file. Each ISO file has a SHA1 hash number. I got the number, now I need to press two clicks on it and it will appear in another window. I will just copy that. Down below, I will leave to you the link to this website. This website simply contains all the hash numbers of all the ISO files that is released by Microsoft. So I will just search the numbers that I got in this website and see if I will get any results. So I will go to search and I will paste the numbers that I got and I will press enter. I got nothing. Such information is not, is not found in the base. So I will go to the next ISO file. I'll press right click, 7-zip, CRC SHA, SHA1, and I will wait. I got the number. I will copy the number. Then I will go back to the website. I will put the number here and press enter. And now I got a result. I will click on the result. I will see all the information about the ISO file that I entered its hash number. That means this ISO is actually released by Microsoft, which means this ISO is genuine. Now I am very sure that it is genuine and it also told me all the information about this ISO file, including all the other hash numbers and the name, the official name of the ISO file. So it also tells me all the information related to this ISO file. So I got answer to my question, which one of them is, is genuine? This one is genuine and the other one is modified. Let's try another example. This is a Windows 11 ISO file. I will check for the hash number, which is SHA1. I will wait for it to load. I got the number. I will copy the number. Then I will go to the website. I will go back to search. I will put the number and press enter. I got the result. The result is telling me the name and the version and all the information related to this ISO file. So right now I am totally sure that this ISO file is genuine. Now you know it is genuine or not and also have the correct information. So the answer to this question was very basic and simple. Check the hash number which is SHA1. If you could find a result on the website then it is genuine. If you couldn't find any result on the website then the ISO is not genuine and has been modified. Now the next question is when to check if the ISO you have is genuine. For an example, you are looking for an old version of Windows 10. You can find the download links on Microsoft website. So you download the ISO from an external website. How do you know that the ISO you got from an external website is actually genuine and it is the official ISO that got released by Microsoft? You don't know. So you have to check every ISO you download to see if it's actually genuine or not, especially if it's downloaded from external website 
and not from Microsoft? Then the answer is if it's downloaded from an external website, not Microsoft. Why you should check each ISO? Let's say for an example, you downloaded it from an external website. What if this website actually injected something into this ISO and it's infected with a virus? You wouldn't know until you check if it's genuine or not. If it's genuine, then you are totally safe and the ISO is actually released by Microsoft. If it's not genuine, then you shouldn't use it or actually you mustn't use it. Also, one other reason, if you're planning to modify a Windows Microsoft ISO, like integrate updates or add language, the best choice is modifying an original Microsoft Windows ISO, a genuine ISO. By modifying a genuine ISO, you always get the best results. If you modify an already modified Microsoft Windows ISO, you will face unexpected issues. So you should always check if the ISO is actually genuine or not. So the genuine Microsoft Windows ISO is always the best choice for modifying. There are other uses for this hash number method. Some of the websites provide the hash number for their ISO file. For an example, this is Hiron's boot. If you go down below, you will see that they are providing the hash number. It's provided so you can check the ISO after you do you download it that it is the genuine ISO file released by Hiron's boot. Just in case you download this ISO from a different website, you still can check the ISO file you downloaded from external website by checking the hash number and see if it's the same as provided on the official website of Hiron's boot. Doing this makes sure that you got the exact same ISO file that is released from the official website, but you downloaded it from an external website. So the hash number is like the fingerprint. It never changes. Each file has a fingerprint that never changes. Changing the name doesn't actually change the hash number. I changed the name. I will check for the number. Now let's try changing the name again. Let's try the hash number again. Let's see if the hash number will change or not. It is the same number. So changing the name doesn't change the hash number. Now what changes the hash number? If I tried to modify any of the files inside this ISO, the hash number will change. So let's try it. Let's go into sources and delete one of the files. I will close and press save yes and I will wait. Let's see the hash number. As you can see, the hash number has changed. So changing any of the files inside the ISO file changes the hash number. The hash number gets used in so many different fields, including the antiviruses. Every file has a hash number not just ISO files. In this video, it has been used on ISO files, but it could be used in many different ways. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.